Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, California, wishing you a good afternoon and thank you for joining me for my segment on things found in old books. Um, I found a few interesting items this week that I'd love to share with you and we should get started right away. In this little Catherine Coulter paperback, I found a couple of photos. They are rocket launch photos, probably taken, they're hard to see because they're not real professionally done. There's somebody with a little, little camera who stood on a shore far away from where the launch was and took photographs of the launch. And on the back, it's dated uh, 12 1905. That's the uh, processing date. So I'm thinking that the <clears throat> rocket was probably around 05 as well. I believe it was a, a satellite launch, possibly. But what got me thinking when I found these pictures from 05 was that it, it not too long after 05 did the uh, kind of the everybody taking a picture on their cell phone and cell phone photos only so the hard copies are kind of lost so i think that finding old photographs in books is not going to be around too much longer there's nothing to put in the book anymore unless you take a photograph on your phone and put it in your eye reader <laughs> i don't know but anyway so i don't know this might uh, finding photographs in books might be a, a lost item because in my course of finding things in old books, photographs have been one of the many things I've found in old books. And uh, so this is 05, so it might be the trend downward for finding photographs in old books. Uh, and on to the next thing. Just a teacher child book for parents and teachers. I found, and it's not, it's interesting to me because what it is it's an injection record and it's interesting to me because of what we're going through now with the pandemic and people getting their vaccines so this is a a vaccine card or not a vaccine really it's for tuberculosis actually a tb test and it's dated 1972 and a little blurb about what the test was and uh, the card that many people on online are taking pictures of the card now uh this is uh done by kaiser and it's in the uh, left forearm upper and then they got the tb test and i probably didn't take a picture of it and share it anywhere they just stuck it in this book <laughs> they were just done with it so i found that interesting only because it was a uh, a card of of, of an, an injection <laughs> on to the next thing we have uh, in this beautiful, gorgeous book on Utah, published in 1922. It's a, it's a lovely book. It's really uh, gold leafing and deco edges. It's very well illustrated. I found this bookmark. Again, the bookmarks are, are, are uh, relatively common. But this one was called The Pig and Whistle. The Pig and Whistle Bookmark. And doing a little research on the pig and whistle, uh, it was a um, restaurant slash candy store, and uh, it was started in the like the turn of the century, nineteen oh nine, and its its heydays were through the twenties. And they had a they had a pig and whistle out here in Hollywood, and and apparently it was next to the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and all the stars would go to the pig and whistle, and. Uh, and the, the bookmark is really quite striking. It's it's a it's obviously from the twenties, and it's 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 beautiful to look at. It's great artwork, and and it would it's a it's quite a quite a unique little item. And on the back, uh, they they tell you a little about a bit about what's what's in the candy, and then where their locations are: Los Angeles, Pasadena, San Francisco, Oakland, and Seattle. So it was a West Coast outfit. So they probably didn't have many pig and whistles back there on the East Coast. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bookmark in a gorgeous book. And lastly, on my, on my finds of the week, uh, 
the experience of literature, kind of a heavy tome. And in this heavy tome, right in the front part, I found this, what it is, it's, it's a picture of the archaeological Guatemala tour. And please accept this souvenir of your trip with our sincerest thanks for flying Pan American. We hope you will think of Pan Am when you're discussing plans for your next trip. By Zenith Travel, a travel agency. And in, in the bottom is a picture of everybody who went on the, the Guatemalan archaeological trip. A souvenir thing. That was a little picture of, uh, of the world on the front. And uh, it was mailed to this person uh, and they lived here in LA in California and, and included with that is, is is from the hotel Guatemala Biltmore just a list I think of the people who were there in the trip with little side notes I think of their spouses or whatever and uh, and it was from the hotel Guatemala Biltmore and this actually came I didn't mention the year of the picture. It came here in 65. So this is from 1965. And uh, I'm assuming this is 65 as well. Thank you for stopping by this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. And we will see you next week. And let me add, if you have anything that you found in old books that you would like to share, send it to old book. No S. Old book at ebookman.com and uh, include a little blurb about what it was and where you found it and uh, we hope to include it on this segment of the show. I appreciate you turning, tuning in and uh, hope to see you again next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.